London, April 1875. My dear Theo, I'm sending you here with a small drawing. I made it last Sunday, the morning a daughter 13 years old of my landlady died. It's a view of Streatham Common, a large, grass-covered dairy with oak trees and broom. It had rained in the night and the ground was soggy here and there and the young spring grass fresh and green. As you see, it scribbled on the title page of the Poseidon Roch. There are beautiful ones among them, serious and sad, including one that begins and ends. Sad and alone, I climb the sad, bare dune, where the sea keens its ceaseless moaning plain. The dune where dies the wide unfurling wave, drab path that winds and winds upon itself again. How I love to see you once again, O oh my native town, dear sea nymph seated at the water's edge. I love the soaring spire of your belt hour, lovely in its boldness and its elegance, its fretted cupola, through which we see the sky. You'll probably be curious about what goes with the etching by Carrot, and so I've copied that out as well. The Pond, to Carrot. We watch the pond, its water leaden, drear, form crease upon crease slowly in the breeze, and the mud, enfolding in a softened line the prow and black sides of a boat aground. The wood's high crown, leaf by fallen leaf, lay strewn upon the ground. The sky was filled with mist. We too, in whispers, almost furtively, were sadly saying, summer's past. These slopes have lost their accustomed grace. No more green foliage, no more golden light trembling in the trembling water or touching tops with gold. The Sido may yet come before our eyes again, if you would have it so. Are you not the master who recreated it after its first creator's hand? Vild Zavre, warm regards, and I wish you the best. Adieu, Vincent.